We want to discuss compound interest in this level, SS3 level. The first question I want to take says, how many years will it take for 240,000 Naira to amount to 288,000 at 8% compound interest per annum? You know that compound interest is an accumulation of simple interest each year. When you calculate the simple interest for this year, whatever the interest is, add it to the principal of that year, it will give you the principal with which you work the second year. If you finish the second year, add the interest to the principal of the second year, it will give you the principal you are going to use for the third year. It continues in that process. So what we're going to do here now is we keep calculating the simple interest on each year and see how our amount every year gets to 288,000. First year, the interest for the first year will be calculated from PRT all over 100. And it's going to give us our principal is 240,000. Divided by, before you divide, multiply by the rate, which is 8% times 8%. The time is always one because you are, comp you are, you are, you are compiling it every year. The all you have here now divided by 100. You can cancel this two. So you have 240, 2400 times 8. 8 times 0, 0. 8 times 0, the second 0 is 0. 8 times 4 is going to give you 32. So write 2 and raise 3. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 plus 3 will give you 19. So we have 19. That means the interest for the first year is 19,200. Then you are going to calculate what we call amount now. Amount is always the interest of the first year added to the principal of the first year. That will give you the principal you will use for the second year. So our amount now is going to be this principal 2000 sorry 240000 240,000 plus that interest for the first year 19,200 simple arithmetic you have 0, 0, 2 9, 5, 2 so this is the principal you are now going to use for the second year first of all you can see that this is not yet up to 288,000 so let's go into the second year and see if we are going to get 288,000 after we have calculated the amount for the second year. So our second year now. Our principal times rates times time divided by 100 is going to be 25 nine two zero zero times eight which is the rate eight percent times one then divided by hundred so this is going to give us let's multiply out two five nine two two five nine two times eight is given me 20,736 naira. 20,736 naira. Then the amount after the second year is going to be this principal for the second year plus the rate. So you're going to give us 25, 
9200 plus 2736. Simple arithmetic. We have six, we have three, we have nine, we have nine, we have seven and two. If you check this amount after the second year, it's still not yet up to 288,000. That means we are going into the third year. Principal times rate times time, all of a hundred. This will give us our principal now is now two seven nine nine three six thousand. Two seven double nine three six times our rates and times our our one year. Now divided by hundred. Let's multiply out. This is giving us twenty two thousand. 394 naira 88 come now this is the interest for the third year so let's calculate the amount for the third year amount is going to be the principal for the third year which is 279936 plus the, this interest, which is 22394.88. Half point eight eight. This is 10. This is 13. This is another 13. This will be 12. This is 10. And this is 3. So we have. 302,330 naira each If you watch closely, you find out that it has exceeded the amount the question asks us in how many years will we get. That means the answer to that question is that it will take less than three years, but more than two years. That means it will take two years and some months. It won't be up to three years, and it will it will be greater than two years. So that is the end of this our first question in our compound interest. Question number two says a woman borrowed five hundred thousand naira at an interest rate of twelve percent per annum. If she repays 100,000 every year, calculate how much she will be owing after two years. She borrowed 500,000 at an interest, of, interest rate of 12% per annum. Every year she repays 100,000. After two years, how much will she owe? First year. P R T all of a hundred will give us the interest that will accrue after one year. Our principal there is five hundred thousand. So we have five hundred thousand times the rate, twelve percent times the time, one year divided by hundred. So we have. 5,000 times 12. 60,000 naira. This is the interest that will accrue after the first year. Now, let's calculate the amount for that first year. Amount for the first year is going to be the principal, which is 500,000. Plus the accrued interest, 60,000. 
zero 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 six five. Now, this is the amount after first year. The question said that that woman repays 100,000 every year. Subtract 100,000 from 560,000 minus 100,000. 0, 0, 0, 0, 6, 4. So when she must have paid 100,000 after the first year, this will be the principal that will remain. And this now will be the principal that we are going to use for the second year. So now our second year. Our PRT out of 100 is going to be, the principal is now 460,000. So write it down, 460,000 times the same rate of 12% times 1 out of 100. Can I remove this? Remove this. So we now have 4,600. 4,600 times 12. It's giving us 55,200. 55,200. Now, this is the rate for the second year. Then, the amount after the second year now is going to be the principal 460,000. 460,000 plus the rates. 55,200. Add it together. 0, 0, 2, 5. This is 11. 5. So I'm giving you 500. 1, 2, 3. 515,200. So this is the amount after two years. If the woman should do Pay another hundred thousand after the second year. That means you are going to have five one five two zero zero minus one hundred thousand. This is zero. This is zero. This is two. This is five. This is one, and this is four. That means after two years, if she is. If she is faithful to her promises of paying 100000 every year, she will only be owing the parastator from where she borrowed the money. It may be a bank. She will be owing the bank 415200 And that has brought us to the end of that question. The third question on our compound interest says that a mathematics teacher or a mathematician. This should be mathematician. Okay. Assumed he will need three hundred thousand to improve his life. Yes, three hundred thousand to be able to visit friends, have fun, change environment. Do you understand what it means to improve life? So he deposited 100,000 at a compound interest of 9.5% per annum. If he adds 50,000 to his savings every year, calculate how much he will have after three years. Very simple. The first year, Let's calculate our PRT out of 100. The principal he deposited is 100,000. So write 100,000 times the rate, 9.5, which is 
for easier multiplication, then times one, the first year, divided by 100. These two zeros can go. Multiply out. 1,000 times 9.5, it will give you 9,500. If you like, you can still use a calculator. So it's going to give you 950, 9,500, sorry. That means the amount after one year is going to be the principal that he or she invested, which is 100,000 Naira plus the accrued interest after one year, which is 9,500. It's going to give us 109,500. Now, remember the question said that he adds 50,000. So we're going to add 50,000 to this amount after one year. And that is going to be the amount that will calculate the interest it will accrue in the second year. So add 50,000 to this. One, two, 50,000. We have zero, zero, five, nine, one, five. So we have 159,500. Now let's enter the second year. Our PRT, all of 100 in the second year, is going to be, this principal is the one that we use in the second year, 159,500. Then times the rate, 9.5. Nine and a half means 9.5 in decimal form. Then times one, divided by 100. You can draw with the two zeros up and down. So we now have the interest that accrued in the second year is 15,152,152 naira, five cup. Now, in the second year again, he will add another 50,000 because that is what he promised. So add 50,000 to this. Sorry, first of all, find the amount. It is the amount that you add 50,000 to. So the amount after the second year is going to be this principal for the second year, 159,500 plus the accrued interest. 15,152.5. So let's know what the amount is by simple arithmetic. This is 2, this is 5, this will give you 6, this is 14, this is 7, we have 1. So it is this amount after the second year that you add the 50,000 that he adds to his savings every year. So add 50,000 to this. One, two, three, four, five. 50,000. We are adding. So here you have five. You have two, five, six, four, seven plus five. We we'll give you 12. Raise one plus one. We we'll give you two. So after the second year, the mathematician will have 224,652 naira, five cover. Now, this is going to be the principal for the third year. So let's enter the third year. Our PRT, all of 100 for the third year, is going to be, this is going to be our new principal now. 224. 652.5 times our rate, which is 9.5, times our time, which is 1. Now divided by 100. 
let's multiply out. We are having 21,341 Naira. Nine eight seven five comma. So this is the crude interest in the third year. Now the amount after the third year is going to be this principal for the third year, which is two two four six five. 2.5 plus the accrued interest after the third year, which is 2112345. Start from here. 21341.98. Two, Let's stop here. This will come down, you have 8. This plus this is 14. Raise 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. 5 plus 4 is 9. 6 plus 3 is also 9. 4 plus 1 is 5. 2 plus 2 is 4. Bring down 2. So this is the amount for the third year. Now add the 50,000 he always adds to his interest. Whatever he gives you will be the amount that he's going to have after three years. This will give you eight. This will give you four. This is four, nine, nine, five, nine, two. One, two, three. He is going to have 295,994 naira 48 kobo after being faithful to all those instructions that the patient gave when he must have saved 100,000 naira. But it is very, very clear that he has not really gotten the 300,000 naira he anticipated but he got very close to it, 295,000 it's remaining 4,000 and something to get the 300,000 that he anticipated he had a good deal question number 3 says that the value of a car we have now entered depreciation as a subtopic the value of a car depreciates by 20% at the beginning of each year. When you use the car for a whole one year, by 1st January of the next year, the car value will depreciate by 20%. So the question said, if the cost of the car is 1.2 million, that must be a Toyota Camry, 2000, and 2000 model. Uh, 2001, 2002, 2000, 2000, 2001, 2002. That's what they sell. 1.2 million. We know the price. Okay, he said we should calculate the value of the car after two years. We should calculate the value of the car after two years. It's a very simple thing. 20% of the value of the car. Remove it from the value of the car after each year. For two years, that is what the question is asking for. Okay, depreciation after first year. Is twenty percent means twenty divided by hundred of the value one point two million. One point two million means one hundred one million two hundred thousand. That is the meaning of 1.2 million. 1 million 200,000. All over one. Whatever this value gives you, subtract it from 1.2 million. 1 million 200,000. It will give you what the value of the car becomes after the first year. Okay? You can do this. You can do this. So we multiply. 
20 times 1,200, 12,000. 240,000. So this is giving us 240,000 Naira. That means by the first of the next year, first January of the next year, the car will now have a value of 1,200,000 minus 240,000. By simple arithmetic, we have zero, we have zero, we have zero, we have zero. This is 10 minus 4, we give you 6. This will be 11. 11 minus nine, uh, 2, we give you 9. So the car value has dropped from 1,200,000 to 960,000. That is the value of the car in the second year. So now in the second year, let's calculate the depreciation again. It will still depreciate by 20%. That means 20 over 100 times the value now, which is 960,000. And cancel this and cancel this. So we have 20 times 9,600. It's giving me 192,000 Naira. So this is the value that the car will lose in the second year. If you subtract this value that it will lose from its value in the second year, it will give you the new value it will have in the third year. So subtract, you have 960,000 now minus 192,000. Zero, zero, zero. 10 minus 2 is 8. 15 minus 9 is 6. 8 minus 1 is 7. So we have 768,000 will be the value of a car that what 1.2 million if the depreciation per annum is 20 percent that car will have the value of 768,000 naira after two years